Hey there. <clears throat> I play my cigar box guitar tuned like the top four strings of a guitar in standard tuning. D, G, B, and E. I imagine most cigar box players come from a guitar background, so you kind of know your basic chord shapes. So I don't know if there's really any need for instruction like this. I just wanted to show you a few little things that tickle me that I, I find a little bit funny. So in a little blues thing in the key of G, uh, here's my G chord, barring the first two strings there, and then fourth fret and fifth fret. So that's just a little abbreviated bar chord there. Like on a big guitar, you do something like that. This allows me to, I mean, my, my pinkies there are not really doing anything, so I can do like a seventh chord or a sixth chord, which is a nice, different sound. I can kind of add a shuffle just using the pinky. You know, usually you, you do a shuffle like. A little more limited on the cigar box, but it makes you, um, forces you to be a little more creative, I think. So, these fingers are moving a little bit, they don't, that doesn't, I don't mean to move them, but I, I'm just using my pinky, so there's that G chord, G6, and G7, flat 7. that whole thing up here to the 8th fret, back, and the D chord, I might do something a little bit different, I might do a D7 chord, which took me a little while to get my head around it, 4th, 5th, 3rd, 5th, again that's the 4th fret, the 5th fret, the 3rd fret, and then the 5th fret. Walk that down to a C, back to G. So here's that whole thing, starting with a G chord. D. A few turnaround turnaround options. When I started learning this kind of blues, um, when I discovered Robert Johnson when I was in my twenties, I really geeked out and figured out all sorts of little variations on a turnaround. You know, you don't need to do that, but but I, I found it fun. Here's a G7 shape up here. 7, 6, and 7. Looks like a D7 chord. Slid way up here. I can slide that down chromatically. And on my G chord. So in the context of a, a blues progression from D chord, other variations. I like this one where you play that G7, 7th fret and 6th fret. When you slide down, lose the 3rd finger and put it back. Like I think I learned that from a, from a Robert Johnson tune, I don't remember which one. But. You could also just use the two fingers. Or you can start here. I just find when my, my guitar is tuned this way, um, and I have to forget about these other two strings, focusing on these four, it's, it's just a lot of fun. And it's like taking all the stuff that I know 
um, and forcing me to kind of relearn it or listen to it um, in, 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 with, with, with fresh ears. And, and that's been a lot of fun. So um, I'll just do it once more and, uh, and I hope you like this. Comment if, you, if you'd like, please. One, two, three, four.